you get inside I have to give a shout out to the store manager Sam Pham because she was so kind to allow me to film this footage inside the store so I'm putting on the belt so that they can see how it looks on me as it came so you remember how big it was so you can see here just how much needs to be taken off so the determining where to mark it so that they know how much needs to come off, how I want it to fit. Uh, this part, guys, felt really awkward for me because it's been a good over five years since I've worn a belt regularly. So she went ahead and made the mark. That is another store employee that's actually doing the work. Removing that beautiful buckle. Now, you know, when you're on the mcmworldwide.com website, they do have a little video that instructs people if you want to do this process at home on your own. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend that unless you just happen to have all the tools that you actually need to do this properly. If you're familiar with the seamstress saying of measure twice and cut once, that is exactly what they do to make sure that they mark it correctly. Because once you cut it, you know, there is no going back. Making the mark. And the moment of truth. you got to trust these employees that they know what they're doing. The cut. Okay, so this tool that he's about to pull out, this rotary round looking thing, it's actually a notch maker. It's what actually makes, puts the notch into the belt. And that's the tool I don't have at home, but even if I did, I don't think I would be brave enough to do this on my own. So really guys, take it to an MCM store. Take your belt to an MCM store so you, everything can get done properly. Just putting the notch into the belt. Removing any loose threads there, making sure that notch is good and clean. Put the beautiful buckle back on. And now your belt is sized just for you, or in this case, me. <laughs> We put it back on to make sure that the sizing is good. This felt so weird. Like I said, it's been so long since I've worn a belt. So once I got here, I realized I couldn't get the belt through the notch on the belt because there's this, uh, there's this plastic piece on the back of it that I didn't realize until this very moment. So we had to take that off. And the finished product is a belt that fits. All right, guys, so that is the process. I hope that helps any of you guys that are interested in getting an MCM belt of your own to maybe help with the process of how it goes. And this is the finished product. Today's look. 